Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to Hacknet. Yes, I know it's been a long time, but you guys deserve me to actually finish this series, so I'm actually going to try and finish it. I had to watch my own video to remember where I was up to, which is always slightly strange. Look, I also wanted to mention that I've been having this problem where I can't read the names of these because it goes off the side of the screen. So I'm thinking it's time to run Theme Changer and change to something else. Anything else. Anything will do. Oh, my God, that's better. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Theme Changer. All right, we got this. This way I can actually see. Now, the last email that we got was talking about how he found something called the Entech External Contractor Relay Server, which is here. Um, and there's also Zeus and Prometheus and, and Romulus. We don't have access to Zeus or Romulus yet, but we do have access to Prometheus via the login. Uh, and I was having a bit of a look-see around here. We can't access the External Relay Server either. So having a little bit of a look around here from my previous video, and I noticed that um, it was it was uh, saying that everyone should sync their devices to this. It says, you know, the mobile and wireless devices used in, in testing this connection are synced to this server. You know, we occasionally wipe them, blah, 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 blah. So I thought, what happens if I do an EOS device scan? Is it going to find something? I found some phones. Maybe these will have the logins to either Romulus or Zeus or the uh, external contractor server. That's really hard to read. Okay, so we have. Let's let's um, let's take a look. See, so let's do this one first. So this is the phone, so we can actually probe this. If we are able to. Oh, what was the way that we got into these? Um, because we had secrets, a theme changer, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I totally forgot that you can just connect to any of these with admin and Alpine because I'm a silly. Now, yes, I think I may have mentioned it before, but I remember when I actually have jailbroken iPhone devices before, if you can get a console and you need to log in as the super user, it is actually admin and Alpine. So that's where that that's where that comes from. So we can have a bit of a look-see around this phone. So EOS, let's see. System, runtime, no. Mail, oh yes, yeah, so that's his mail. Notes, passes, passes, 113. Hacknet, this device is geared as a standard uncracked ePhone 4S. Connection should fail as without outside influence, there are no open terminal connection methods. Okay. Smash rate as their adventure, tiny birds, oh yes. Oh man, good old stuff here. Warrior Trilogy, chaotic good Kanye tweets, West tweets violated, dirty one-liners hoarded, sacred gems donated to charity. Oh yes, irreplaceable gains. Good, good stuff, good, good stuff. Okay, so this guy, ah, we have an NTech email, N Stanford at NTech, N Stanford, and we have Murloc 33. I'm actually going to write that down, ntech.com. Okay, now let's have a look in the other phone, which should be around here somewhere. And I assume that we are going to have the exact same experience, possibly find some stuff, but we shall have a look and find out. So nothing in home, what have we got? Mail, nothing. Aha, notes, we have some more notes. All right, this device is geared, yes, 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 yes. Connection to succeed as this as device has been altered to allow SSH connections. I remember that from the email. Usage, caution, this device is deliberately insecure for testing purposes. Should not connect to any internal service or mail systems. Hmm. Remote creation test, as if, as if writing remotely. <laughs> Lovely. Does that mean uh, we should actually be able to connect to other devices via this one? All right, so for example, um, Let's have a look at the IP of Romulus, which is 156.151.112. 156.151.1.12. So if I were to say connect to that, I'm going to be able to log in. Is that? No, I don't. I don't think that's how that works. Now, uh, which one was the one with the? Is this the one that has been altered? Yes, so let's have a look. Uh, mail, notes, yes. Can I do SSH? What commands do I have? 
Mm. Mm. Oh, well, let's go into his email and try and have a look at some emails related things. And we can hopefully... Where is the bloody mail server? Web server? Prometheus? Oh, this is always a problem. Where is the mail server? I can't remember where it is. Uh, mail server. Found it. Okay. So we have N Stanford at ntech.com. And we have his password, uh, Murloc33. What? Murloc33? What did I do wrong? N Stanford at ntech.com. I'm going to have to go back and have a look at that. What did I do wrong? Notes, passes, oh no, the b- mail there. N Stanford at ntech.com, Murloc33. That should work, right? Maybe it's just N Stanford. Yeah, okay, all right, we're in. Sheesh. All right, current Mojix. Oh, we. we Greetings, welcome to NTech. We work on two big projects. The first is NSEC complete, blah, 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 by removing and minimizing potential for human error in the process. Have I mentioned that I'm going to make this episode a little bit longer so we can try and get through these a bit quicker? Uh, Hacknet OS is a companion project. Okay, yep, yep, yep. So that's all. Welcome to the Hacknet team. Delicate nature of the project, blah, blah, blah. Okay, at its heart, it's a marketing advice, but it's an individual project. <laughs> cool. Hey, it probably should have been set up at the start, but the Romulus admin password is. We can connect to the Romulus. We can connect to the Romulus. Writing that down, what is it? We have an H. We have a s- 7. We have a GG. We have an N, a K, and a 12. All right. Oh, no, that's an L, I think. Anyway, I'll remember that. You should have a link to it on your desktop, but if you don't connect it to that, and we're good to go. Haha. <laughs> well, from Romulus, we can probably find Zeus and then maybe we can find the contract. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to be good. Hello all. One of our engineers expressed concerns about the direction of the project. If used maliciously, this could be an extremely dangerous tool we're building unless you can guarantee that distribution will be extremely carefully tracked and monitored. I'm not sure I can continue work on the project in good faith. Hmm. Uh, let's have a bit of a scan through this. One of the inherent problems with building powerful tools is the misuse comes with powerful consequences. Well, I... All right, so somebody's just like, this operating system be powerful, yo. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know. Let's see, despite some setbacks, blah, 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 blah. All right. And that was from... One of our engineers has expressed concern. Hmm. I wonder if that was bit. I wonder if that was bit. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We have the password to Zeus. Zeus, where are you? Is it this one? Yes. All right. Uh, admin, I assume. Um, H seven G G N K L two, right? No, retry. Admin H seven G G N K. Maybe it was one two. Oh, I'm a bloody idiot. It's the Romulus password. I bet you're all yelling at my your screens right now. It's the Romulus password. <laughs> Seven G G N K L two, yeah. It was the Romulus password, and I was looking at Zeus because I'm a retard. I'm sorry. Let's go. We are in. We are in. Let's have a look. If the file system of this, we are getting somewhere finally. Nothing particularly useful in there from memory. If there's all right, bins system store contractors. Aha. Contractor server. This repo stores only development ready editions of contractor work. For more up to date untested version, untested versions of this, look on the contractor relay server. Because the emails just do not stop about this password, to view the uploaded files <laughs> is a x eight. I'm going to be careful to write this correctly. Eight eight nine m s j a m s j as is on the hard copy you got when you first got access to this man if these people just didn't leave their passwords lying around they'd be we'd be screwed they're all just retards all right okay all right well we have the password to that that was a bit easy contract upload got these latest binary versions of each of the contractors which should be kept all right so what have we got hacknet security tracer dot dec 
Do I have that? I don't know. I'm going to get it anyway. Additional task. Security tracer that loaded here and should be packaged with all Hacknet releases. It's band aid solution, but should auto activate, disable the user's copy, and send its location to central servers after a copy started up and running for a while. Ah, so this is the thing that has been that um that I had to destroy in the beginning. This is that bit. This, this is the thing that Bit actually asked me to delete as fast as possible. Successfully tracks and estimates ping backs and trace times. No, 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 Ah, very clever. So the person who expressed a little bit of desire to fix uh, the problems of. Uh, it not being very secure because it's too powerful. Put security tracer on. Very clever. Let's not open that then because then we don't want that in our thing, do we? Good news. We're all ahead of schedule. Blah, 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 blah. Programs from standard Unix are running fine. Flat C. Anyway, we should have a universal executable. I think I already have this, but hey, you know, may as well SCP all the things. Let's grab that. And then finally... Bit. <laughs> Not sure how long you wanted this report to be, so I'm keeping it pretty curt. Progress is good. My section's progressing mostly as planned in that it works, and it's passing most of your test cases. Number 86, though. What is that? Hint? I've run into a few issues that require me to decentralize new versions that will talk to a hot server, which will crunch and send back solutions to some of the trickier cases, being able to ping them for a second perspective. I think this will give me some more options to get around stuff like whitelist servers. Got this thing running. It's my Heartlink prototype uploaded here, too. You gave me pretty free reign, so I assume this is fine. Let me know if there are problems. Wow. Okay. Let's grab uh, let's grab both of these, just because you never know what you're gonna need. Excellent. By the way, people keep asking. I hit tab to auto complete the rest of the thing. You just hit tab, and it'll give you an automatic completion. And if you hit it a couple of times. Uh, when there's a couple of suggestions, it should give you a list of the things that it could finish with. So, yes, now you know. Now you know. All right, but the most important thing is we have the contractor server. So I'm going to actually email bit. I'm going to reply with the password to that first. Not bit. I'm not emailing bit. What was it? A X eight eight nine M. What is that? An S? S J A. I really hope that's correct. Yes, vindication. This is exactly what I was hoping for. The place has been stripped clean, but from one encrypted file in Bits folder, as you've probably seen. But that file, I know how to open it. It's a password he told a few of us a long time ago that worked on a project with him. He sent us a message encrypted like this back then too. The past password's diving sparrow. I've already read it. There's an email account I need to check out too. I suggest you do the same. Download the file and decrypt it locally. Don't leave an open copy of that lying around. And contact me afterwards. It feels like we're reaching the truth and some action. Contact me once you've caught up and let's finish this. Diving Sparrow. All right. Okay, let's connect. Let's connect to the relay server. Uh, AX889MSJ8. Let's go. Yes, login successful. Wonderful. Wonderful. Ah. Bin. Nothing. Nothing. Always good to have a bit of a flick through. Page R. Just some. This file deliberately empty to ensure this folder remains active and gets out from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heart.dec. Okay. Um, SCP heart.dec. You know, I don't. I don't delete my logs as much anymore because I haven't found any consequence for ever not doing so. But for this one, I think I'm going to do it just in case. Hmm. Boop, boop, boom. All right. We are going to connect to our home machine and use that. Done. All right. Now, uh, it was called heart, right? Where is it? Heart. Okay. Um, remind me what it is. Decipher. Um, actually, first I'm going to run deckhead. Um on it because I can't remember what that does and I want to see what it does. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's just, I can't remember what it what it does, but I just want to have a bit of a look, see. Bitwise, last words, last words. Source IP. 23 dot Two three six 
0.62.147. Bitwise repo base. Oh yeah, yeah, I've already had this thing. That's right, that's right, I remember this. Yep, 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 yep. I remember that, I remember that. Anyway. Um, now, where were we? Oh, oh, which one was it? This one. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. We were, <laughs> we were here. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let's decipher. Uh, heart. It's going to ask for the password and diving sparrow. Uh, what was the syntax? Diving sparrow. It's probably just chuck the password in afterwards. We're about to have a heart. Boom, 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 boom. This is all getting real. Headers, bitwise lot. Heart.text. I'm writing this in faith that I told you this password, that you're the person I hope you are. And it's because it's all I have to work with right now. Thank you for looking so far. It seems a lot to ask for anyone, for that anyone will read this, but I guess I'm doing a lot of that lately. To business then, if you are actually here, then, well, that's already my worst case, and I have some hard requests to me. Or to make, maybe? You must have run into the files on what NTEC's up to, and I hope you feel the way that I do about it. You've seen how good NSEC is already. Incredibly so, and once it's polished up, I wonder how much of the freedom we have now will slip away. That is maybe actually fine. I'm fine with that, and on a lot of levels, I respect them trying to fix security and want it to work. Even if it cripples what I'm best at. But not like this. Not like this. The Hacknet project is the problem. It's great to make good security. It's even kind of okay to hold a lot of control over it and its usage, but breaking everything except what you've made isn't. Before I knew it, I'd contribu contributed too much to Hacknet. It was an incredible project, fun and challenging. They just threw resources at it endlessly. Amazing to work on. And I made something incredible. It's called Port Hack. Basically a sum of my knowledge and skill. It opens doors just about ev anywhere. I got curious after a while and broke into the mainframe, put it all together. Maybe the first complete build that's been done of the project with a complete port hack wired in. It's not so hard to see what happens from here. They complete this, hack that gets out. Somehow the world's in total chaos and our one chance to stop digital security from falling into this insane monopoly slips away. What we have isn't perfect, and NTEC security is good, but Hacknet ruins everything, and if we don't stop it now, it might be too late to stop it ever. The CEO's email account tells the rest. rc at ntech.com. Password. B... Uh, I'm writing down all the things. B-Y... Uh, C-8... 9-K... M-M-E... And it's just RC. Okay. Please, bit, zero. <sighs> right. Contact me once you've caught up and let's finish this. I'm caught up. You've read it too, you know what this means. I'm, at the very least, I'm starting with doing whatever I can to finish what bit started. If this is how it ended. While you found a way into the contractor server, I was digging around for their backups. They stole them offline, but the server auto connect at, to the net at set intervals to pull updates from down from the production servers. So they stay up to date. With some clever patch pushing, I think I can get it up. Getting you a connection isn't simple, but I have a plan. I've re-rigged one of my old sequencing programs to time it all for you. It's something I used to use to coordinate takedowns and the like when working with friends. There's an uploaded copy on the CSEX asset server called Sequencer. Yep, yep, yep. Run it when you're ready. It'll it'll signal me to bring the backup server up and pipe a connection through to you. You won't have long, but it should be enough. While I keep it online, get to their backup and wipe out everything with the word hacknet in it. I'll keep it up, and while you're there, I'll wipe the mainframe. If bit once it's gone, this is the best we can do. Fight. Win. V. I think I already have sequencer. Yeah, I've already downloaded it. All right, so we need to... We need to uh, when I'm ready, I need to open up sequencer. And then I have to get in there and delete everything with the word hacknet on it. But I will probably make a copy for myself because I'm terrible. Anyway, um, but first I want to have a look at the email. Log in. RC. Uh, BYC89KMME. All right. 
Understood. I'll take care of it. A former employee has gone rogue and is threatening the project. Unlike most, I'm actually concerned that he knows what he's doing could be a real problem. I hate being so crude about it. This project's too important to me and the world to put at risk over something like this. Can you discourage him? Details attached. Call him Bit. I've put out the order. Expensive, but he'll be dead within the week. Charged to your account as per normal. Good to have you on board. What exactly are your plans this time? He's important and well informed. They murdered him. They murdered him. It's too late. Can't stop it. It's anonymous. You need to be clear about wording if you want specific action. Dead? What the hell are you talking about? I wanted you to smash up his computers and arrest the guy, not fucking kill him. Call this off right now. This has gone far enough. I'll deal with it myself. The man's a genius. Even if he's against the project, I want him around. Find a way to stop it, for God's sake. If you're serious about this, I'm holding you personally responsible. Don't fuck with me here. Sure thing. Uh, I'll kill the audio pass rotation till you're done. Admin pass. Mainframe access emergency. Something's come up and I need access to the mainframe to have a look around. I'll be investigating recent accesses and builds, so I need admin. I need a new piece of paper. Alright. What have we got? V19 328 H Q Nine. Alright. Now is that for Zeus? Is that the actual mainframe for Zeus? Anyway, I'll have a look at that in a bit. The target is deceased. Payment will be proceed as promised or my employees may take issue with their client. It's not too fucking late if he's not dead yet. Call this off right now. I'm revoking payment. This isn't what I hired you for, for fuck's sake. Personal value to the project aside, I'm not going to be a goddamn accessory to murder because of your stupid misunderstanding. Payment has been received and our business is concluded. Fuck, 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 what have I done? This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted, you fucking psychopath. Jesus Christ. Wow. He said... Can you discourage him? That's pretty big misunderstanding, man. Like, I wouldn't have taken discourage to mean murder. It's not like, take care of him. It's like, discourage, you know? Uh, uh, <sighs> Poor guy. Poor guy. All right. I don't know whether this is actually true. I just kind of want to see if this see if this uh, password is for Zeus. Oh, it might be for something else. V19. Oh, wait. There was actually a mainframe as well. Oh, well. I'm going to finish typing this now that I'm here. It's not going to work. Oh. Huh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> All right. What have we got in here? Because wasn't there a mainframe as well? Workstation, workstation. Mail server, crosswords, blah, 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 blah. Maybe not. Oh my god, so many. So many things. Contractor Prometheus, Romulus, web server, workstation, core. Offline cycling backup, that's a new one. Isn't that the one that he wanted me to access? Oh, yeah, so I need to connect to that and then run the thing, maybe? Yeah, workstation core. Did we have access to this? I wonder if this has the same password. B19328HQ9. No. And I bet it's got invitability all over it. Oh, no, that's right. We just connected to this one. That's how we found all the things. Yeah, I remember now. I remember now. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sweet. Let's, get, let's finish looking around. What have we got? Repo. Hacknet. Hacknet runtime. Hacknet source. Hmm. This is... This is, a. Uh... <coughs> There's a repo here. It's not in the backups as well. We, we should really delete it from here as well. Um, let's see. When it's ready, ready, it'll signal me to bring the backup server up and pipe a connection through to you. Won't have long. While I keep it online. All right. So let's have a look at this offline cycling backup. It's going to be uh, six. Six. That's a lot. This is going to be really hard to hack into, isn't it? Um, let's just see what happens if I run... Actually, let me read that email again. Um, 
Hmm. They stole them offline, blah, 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 blah. Okay. It's on sequencer. Activate. I do I have to do Go 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 oh my god Break active security on target D delete um a uh, delete all hacknet related files just go holy shit this is epic all right okay um oh god I have to be quick Ah uh, oh this is not going to work It's not going to work And uh, lies oh my god what is this I need to... Let's... Um... Oh, that's right, I have to do this. There's no way I'm gonna get this done in time. There's no way! Oh my god, what the hell is this? I should have started from the beginning. Oh dear, oh dear. E-M... Oh god. Solve... E-M... Uh... M... E... T P L A C E Emmett Place. Okay. Uh. Oh, the fucking proxy isn't done. Oh, that's all right. We can do some others. Um. What was it? What was it? KBT. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. Um. There's sufficient memory. Of course there is. Let's close that. It says go, go, go. Come on. I can fit that one in. There's no way. I'm not gonna get in in time. Come on. Oh god, I'm I'm not gonna make it. Like I'm gonna get in, but I'm not gonna have enough time to like do anything once I'm there. We've got pot hack ready to go. We have no time left whatsoever. Oh come on! <laughs> Please Oh god, there is no way we're gonna make it. He's only gonna be able to keep it open for a certain amount of time. Okay, we need to get in uh we need to get in and No! I don't care! Archive. Hacknet. Did I do it? Did I do it? Oh, the music has stopped. Why is the music stopped? I don't know why the music has stopped. Uh. Um. DC. The music is back. I think I actually deleted everything from that folder. Did I make it? And so it ends. Oh my god, I had no time left at all! And so it ends. As revenge, it's shallow to me, just lashing out of what he was. It's all too late to help him at all, but this felt right. I guess I should be more used to it. No one will notice, huh? Not except the ones who were in a rage over the loss. No one's going to be thanking us, no matter how much damage it might have caused otherwise. Such is the way of things, I guess. You helped a lot, and I'm grateful. There's only so much I can do with this veil of anonymity kept on. And after that, it seems like a terrible time to shed it. So I'll see you back at CSEC. There's always chaos there. I'll find a way to pay you back soon enough. Thanks, really. V. Bit. Hey, I'm not sure if it's sensible to be writing this one first. If all's gone to plan, this should be basically the last you'll hear from me. Maybe the last anyone hears from me. But hey, this one's optimistic. If this ever gets sent you to you, that's the best news I could hope for. So, thank you. I can't imagine it'll be easy. What well, will have been easy? This tense is going to take some getting used to. So one last thing I'd ask of you, not that I've... Haven't asked way too much already. Port hack's not quite a standalone thing. 
It was once, but, well, you can probably understand now why this can't exist as something people can just pass around. Its core, heart, is the only piece left. It's built to be untemperable, but I've done what I can. This is my last request of far too many. Porthack.heart. What is this? I just log in with this. Unknown error. Am I inside the heart? What is that animation doing? Everything's fading out. Everything has become stars. Wow. It's so pretty. What is it? Is there anything I can do with it? Or do I just have to wait for it to... Oh, it's, it looks like it's going back to a single line. Was that it being deleted? Is it set up that when someone tries to connect to it, it deletes? <sighs> the obsession with graphs in this game. I swear the developer just made it just so he could make as many pretty graphs as possible. Hi. My name's Bit, and if you're hearing this, I'm already dead. <laughs> I forgot about this! It also means Port Hack Heart stopped, and my scripts worked. Which means we're finished. Which means you've done it. Doing this now was our last chance, I think. While they're in a rush to finish it all, and not under the eyes of the whole world yet. So, thanks. Thanks. If all's gone right, there's just one copy of Hacknet left to delete. And you're looking at it. Wow. <laughs> the music is on point in this game, I swear. What a great ending. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for watching this this series, guys. I didn't realize I was one episode from completion as well. Well, one very long episode. Uh, logos, assistant writing, testing. Sarah, R Rigol, appearance mock-up, Jeremy Mitchell. God, I need, I need the soundtrack to this game as well, because it is just excellent. Hmm. Well, thank you so much. I have been waiting to finish this game for many, many years. I know it I took a while to get around to it in the end, but I, uh, I'm really glad that I did. I really, really hope and recommend that if you haven't played this game yourself to check it out. I know you've just seen me play it through, but I didn't do every, didn't do everything. And uh, from what I hear, there may or may not be some DLC coming in the future that will definitely be worth playing. Testing and thanks. Ellie Dunbar, Chris Johnson, Tristan Tidget Trebilzy. Jamie Williamson, that's my real name in case you didn't know, that's me. Uh, Alex Mackey, Noble Kale, Sam Chris, Dylan Sale, Richard Taylor, Ben Kilsby, Matt LaCrupa, Brad Wesson, Jamie Filinaros, Giselle Rosman, Beck Pelve, who you might already know, Ben Carter, Stephen Trobiani, Stephen, sorry, Gib Trobiani, Laura Trobiani, Ben Trobiani, Aiden Xy Coxon. Yep. So it's really nice to get mentioned because I did I did get a few early copies of this game and I did get to try a few things out various previous versions over the years um but it's a truly truly excellent game that um that you should all check out if you haven't already uh i'm gonna watch till the end of the credits in case there's something special there have i mentioned that i my chair isn't as creaky i got a new chair it's less creaky so that's always going to be a good addition to, to the recordings um 
I wonder if there's more to do after this or whether there's a few Easter eggs and so on and so forth that you can find. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, thank you, underscore. So, you know, one or the other, I guess. <laughs> um. <sighs> do we end up back in the back in the main area? Do we? We're back. <laughs> one final email. Matt Trobiani, the end. Congratulations, you've just completed Hacknet. It started as a side project and 48 hour game jam between friends and people liked it so much that I worked on it casually for a while to produce a prototype version in 2012. The response was amazing and though I ended that version with an email saying I was stopping working on the game for other projects, I couldn't stay away. I kept working on it and uh, pretty quietly behind the scenes and eventually, two and a half years later, it became what you just finished. Thanks for playing. If you liked the game or didn't, send me an email at matt at hacknet-os.com and let me know what you think. Suggestions welcome. If you're interested in following more stuff I make or want to bug me for more work, uh, to work more on this or things like it, you can follow me on Twitter at, as at Oran. Thanks, Matt. The Link Computer has a few secrets from the game on it. Take a look. Credit server. Ah. All right. We shall take a quick look. Music changer. Ah. So I can, like, switch things around. Mm -mm 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 I assume I can port hack this. Yeah, the previous arrow one is still there. Um, let's have a bit of a look-see. What have we got in here? Oh, every single thing that you could possibly need. A bunch of logs. Credits. Yep, that's the actual credits itself. Congratulations. You can find a time lapse of me making the prototype on my YouTube channel, The Auron. Got a great response to the prototype that I expanded. I might link that in the description as well. Hidden stuff, a few not so well hidden tricks in the game that essentially left over are extra features. You can do open CD tray, you can do fork bomb, security trace and name generation. A lot of companies uh, and computers are procedurally generated. Internal consistency, the servers in the game like an email server inter internally consistent servers with procedurally generated accounts and emails. Try hacking the email server you connect to all the time and see if you can decipher the storage formats of e emails and how my parser works. Hint. That looks like a regex string. And more, computers have file systems, which, while not incredibly rich, do have a few gems on them. Explore a little and see what you can find. There's a big secret that path in Hacknet that is essentially a third faction. If you're looking for more, try playing again and being more aggressive. Look more closely for secrets, especially at how things happened, how things got where they did and where things came from. All people and hackers can be traced and investigated if you look hard enough. Hmm, very clever. I might try that sometime. Thanks again if you didn't blah, 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 blah. Represent if you decide to play again, there's a server you can access from the start with again. all the port exploits on it you can access at leap, 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 leap. That's really cool. I'm just going to connect to that really quickly. Oh, yes. Uh, it's just a very simple, quick port hack on this. Again, thank you so much for watching. I know this has been an extremely long episode, but at least we managed to wrap it up all in one go. Oh yeah, it's got all of this, all of the starting ones, so we can just grab those all in one go. Um, I guess that's why these logs are around the place. They must be procedurally generated. All right, thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See you later. How many is in my mouth? I don't even remember. I think I've got an amount. Four, five. I'm looking at the wrappers. I don't know. Let's just chuck a lemon one in. And let's go for it. We can get through 30 seconds. We got through 20 seconds. Let's go. Oh. 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 I have a problem. I have a problem. I have a massive problem. I have a problem. I have a problem.